So here's my thought, chat. You know how I've somehow oftentimes done those like fish identification games with this this website, this taxa challenge website? Well, I was thinking, what if I versed you, all of chat, the collective of hive mind of chat, who, by the way, can cheat, has access to the Internet, has access to Google, has access to fucking like Google Lens or any other identification service iNaturalist, you could quickly put the photo on iNaturalist. We go head to head in a fish identification competition. And to make it even more fair, I won't even just do New Jersey. I'll do all of North America, which you guys know notoriously I'm not that good at because some things are really hard to tell apart when you are especially not from the region and really, you know, into the things. Now, if it's if I did New Jersey, I would get everything right and it would be an unfun one thing to watch. So we're going to do North America, all of my chat versus me, and we're going to put some stakes on it. Now, chat, what would you rather? Would you rather me gift five subs if I lose, or would you rather me give a random chatter $10 every time I lose? $10, $10, $10, $10. $10. OK, what do I get if I win then, chat? If you get $10 to a random chatter, if we win, we keep watching. Wait, hold on. You don't have that power. You're all addicts. We are going to play a 10 question quiz. All right. I am going to have a poll on screen. You guys will be able to vote. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. We're going to go 10 questions. Whichever one of us gets more identification wins. And you are encouraged to cheat. Use Google. Use iNaturalist, use Google Lens, use any identification software you can come across and identify these fish as a majority better than I identify these fish. If you'd like to choose a leader in chat who will, you know, do the right decision and everybody follows, whatever, you guys can operate however you want to operate. We're going to do 60 seconds per ish. I'm going to I'm going to spend 60 seconds. Look at it. You guys spend 60 seconds. Look at it. Whatever the vote is after 60 seconds, we're done. OK. I'm going to click on what I think is the answer. Let the games begin, chat. Your poll should be on screen. I'm going to click on what I think is the answer. Whoops, wrong one. You guys click on what you think is the answer. We're going to get I'm going to get four good picks up, though, for everybody to look at. So you probably don't want to vote until you see all the pictures. All right, feel free to vote. Now, sculpins are notoriously quite difficult. Especially like, I mean, the genus Cottus can be extremely difficult to tell the difference between all of them. So I don't know that it's necessarily even possible to identify, but I'm gonna go with some context clues here. Chad, I'm finishing your poll. You have officially chose the bottom left, okay? You guys have decided that the bottom left Sculpin is a coast range Sculpin. Now, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. But if you were both wrong, it doesn't really matter. OK, I don't think this is a coast range. This looks more like a coast range to me. I remember the coast range Sculpin that I caught in Alaska being weird and skinny. Now, the actual feature that made it a coast range Sculpin, I believe it's been it's been a while, I believe was the banding and then a little notch on the caudal peduncle. I don't see that here at all. So I think it's either this one or this one. The question is, which one do I go with? This looks more like an ocean fish picture or like a knob fin. I think I'm going to go with the top left. You guys have chosen bottom left. I've chosen top left. Let's go. <laughs> yes, I remembered. That's a lucky Sculpin. Out of like the hundred species of Sculpin in North America, I happen to choose, I happen to get the species that ha looks somewhat distinct from the other ones. All right, chat, it is now one to zero. One to zero. Now we are looking for a Northern Hog Sucker. You have 60 seconds to decide which of these is a Northern Hog Sucker. <laughs> uh, wow. I thought this was going to be more difficult. You know, you guys can look it up, right? You have Google. You have the entire Internet at your disposal. What are you doing, man? This is a white sucker. Stop voting for the white sucker, man. Please, God. 
I searched it on Google. It's top right. It's not top right. <laughs> I will give you a hint, chat. It is not the top right. For the love of God, change your answer. <laughs> You've got about 30 seconds to change your answer. They all look identical to me. Welcome to my life. He's trying to change our results. Okay. Go with top right then. Have fun. It's a white sucker. I promise you that top right is a white sucker and not a northern hog sucker. Okay, you ready? See? I've never even heard of a southeastern blue sucker. What the hell is this genus? Anyways, two to zero. You guys really need to pick it up here. You guys, maybe you need to get someone intelligent. Hey, who is that? Who, who said the right answer right away? Wait, hold on. Someone said the right answer right away. Where did they go? Poggers. It was like BC something. L B L underscore Boxo. You guys should listen to that guy. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do too much for you guys. Thank you, Volke, for the prime. Not gonna do too much for you guys, but you should probably listen to that guy in the future because he got it right that time. Oh jeez. Oh, you guys are screwed on this one. Northern Brook Lamprey. Alright, chat. This is the closest vote yet, but you guys have decided to go top left. I think I agree with you, okay? Here's my reasoning. These two look like they're parasitic. They're either too large or they have, like, this is way too large for a brook lamprey. This could be a brook lamprey, but this looks like not an amicy. It looks fully developed and the lips are too large, even though I can't fully see it. This looks like an American brook lamprey. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because we don't have a northern brook lamprey in New Jersey. We only have the American. This looks like the American, though, so I'm just going to assume it's right. Goddamn. All right, three to one. Congratulations on getting one right, chat. All right, three to one, chat. You guys need to come back. Am I three for three so far on North American? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's fucked up. Wait, I shouldn't have given you guys all this information. How is it going to go from one lamprey species to another immediately? That's tough. I'm getting this one wrong. This is breaking Yo, my streak. what's up, Zach? 30 months, that's crazy. I bought a sword. It'll send you a photo of it later. Okay. Okay, so the bets are between the top left and the top right. From what I can tell, those are both Brook Lamprey. But so are all of these. I think these are all some sort of Brook Lamprey. I don't think there's any parasitic Lamprey in here. So I don't think it's possible to tell the difference. The only way you could possibly tell the difference, it's Western, right? Oh, Cow Turtle. I know Cow Turtle. Where is Cow Turtle from? Isn't Cow Turtle East Coast? So it can't be that one. It can't be top one. They wouldn't catch this many Western. I'm going with this. I'm going bottom right. This is dumb because I probably should just pick the same thing as you guys. Now that you have a lead, I have a lead, but I'm going bottom right. Fuck, that's an American Brook Lamprey. But that was my photo. Wasn't it? Oh, that, I was there when that one was caught. I was there when that one was caught. Oh, if I had scrolled a little. I was there when that was caught. That is Mark's photo. I un I took underwater footage of that lamprey. I should have just scrolled through a few more photos. All right. Well, you guys got another one right. It is now three to two. Don't say we're great at this. You're at a 50% batting rate. I'm at a 75%. We're not even in the same plane of existence. All right, chat. All right, number five. Oh, and it's got to be Shad, of course. Of course it does here. We'll, we'll give ourselves some adults. Wah, wah, wah. All right, there's your four Shads. Now, I don't know where the Skipjack Shad lives. This is where you guys have the advantage. I have no idea what the hell a Skipjack Shad is. Sounds like it's probably in, like, Texas. Like, maybe Gulf of Mexico type thing. But... I don't know what a skipjack shad is. We don't have that in New Jersey. It is Gulf of Mexico. Ten points to me. I may not know what it looks like or any of the identification features, but ten points for getting the habitat right. Now the question is, is it really a shad? Or is it one of the smaller ones that's not actually a shad? You guys have decided it is the top right now. That's the only one that I don't think is a possibility. I think this is a hickory shad, like 100%. This is a hickory shad. It's got to be one of these three. I don't... I think I go with this. I think I'm going to go top left. I think top right's a hickory shad. I'm going to say top left. 
Shit, that was an American. That's a hickory. Alewife. I knew that was an alewife. All right, we are still tied at three to two. Northern Mad Tom. What does a Northern Mad Tom look like, chat? I have a vague idea of what a Northern Mad Tom looks like. I think I can eliminate some of them. I don't know which one it is, though. Actually, I think I do. I think I know which one it is. I've never caught a more Northern Mad Tom. I've never been in a place where the Northern Mad Tom lives. I don't even really know their range, but I've seen pictures at some point or another, and it's like stuck in the back of my memory now. And I think I know where the Northern Mad Tom's at. You have to go on bottom right? No. No, that's gotta be, um, that's gotta be Orange Fin Mad Tom, right? This has gotta be an Orange Fin Mad Tom. All right, you guys have decided bottom right. I'm almost positive it's this one. This patterning going all the way through the adipose fin feels in my mind like Northern Mad Tom. Look. I was thinking of Ozark Mad Tom, actually. I was thinking of Ozark Mad Tom because I Googled that one time because I was going somewhere with it. Oh, crap. It's three to three. Shit. Okay. This is fine. Three questions left, right? We've done seven. We have three questions left. Okay, that's fine. Oh, why are you giving me a sucker? Have we not gotten a single minnow yet? I'd prefer a minnow, thanks. Bro, are any of these pictures gonna be viable? Sure, that's probably good enough. Everyone's saying definitely top left. Now, I think I have a little insider knowledge that's gonna win me this one. Everyone's saying top left. Yeah, I think I have some insider knowledge that's gonna win me this one. You guys are deciding top left. Look at this. He's in like a big lake or river. This has to be a river red horse, right? There's no way there's a golden red horse in a river this large. This looks more like a creek. I think I'm going with this one just because of the environment. I don't know how to tell the difference between red horse whatsoever, but I'm going with this because of the environment that it's in. All right, all right, four to three. You guys have two opportunities to win. Two opportunities to catch up. That was purely based on location. This looks like a creek where I know there's golden red horse. I wasn't even right that this was a river one. Spotted sucker, long nose. Yeah, I could see how that was a long nose and that's a spotted. I could see that. Ah, oh, geez, come on. Give me a minnow. Why am I getting a Mexican Tetra here? Well, good luck with your Mexican Tetra chat. It's a crapshoot. I, I don't know either of these ones. Now, with Yucatan, let's think about the climate of Yucatan. Sort of like a peninsula. It's quite hot on the Gulf of Mexico, but it's probably tropical-ish. Oh wait, this is a freshwater fish. Never mind. So it's like a jungle type vibe. This isn't helping me at all, by the way. Okay. I have a thought. I have a thought. Usually, animals named after places are discovered later. No, sorry, earlier, are discovered earlier. Okay, here's my thought. Usually things called like blank, blank, you know, blank tetra, the Mexican tetra, the American tetra, are found very early. So my theory is these are too indescript. This guy with the black on the dorsal fin, you would notice the moment you caught that. So I think it's bottom right. You guys are going with bottom left, which I could also see that's pretty conspicuous itself. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Four to four chat and there's only one left. Oh, uh, did you guys get that because of the red fin? Did you guys just Google Yucatan Tetra and it, it was the only one that had a red fin? Uh, Google actually gave you good information that time. All right. One more. Comes down to one more fish. If we both get it wrong, I guess we tie and go our separate ways. Oh, and it's a sculpin for our very last one. Holy crap, give me a good side shot of that like includes. Yeah, that'll do. All right, chat, this is the most important thing you'll have to do. 
You determine whether you win or not. Okay. You guys have decided. You've had your minute. You've decided it's bottom right. And with you guys deciding it's bottom right, I have officially won the competition. <laughs> what? That was a slimy sculpin. Wait, no. Wait. Wait. Oh no. I thought. <laughs> Wait, I thought. Wait, this is my friend Drew, and I know that he caught Knobfin Sculpins in Vermont. So I assumed that. Uh, right. Thanks, Drew. Thanks for that one. Yeah, I know who Fishbra is. I've gone fishing with him many times. Oh. Okay, chat. I guess I guess we do it. We do a marbles race to decide who gets ten bucks. One of you wins ten dollars. Don't say you suck. You had all of Google. I am at least as good, if not slightly better, than Google. <laughs> oh God, how do I have a job? If we did New Jersey, I would win a hundred percent. Let's just be clear. If we did New Jersey, I would win a hundred percent. And if you want the same bet. With New Jersey, I will take you easily. Five. Oh, wait, I don't have to count down. I can hit the start button and that counts down for me. All right, chat, here you go. For $10. EJ Cool 83 a name I have never seen in chat in my entire life. He must be spamming exclamation point boost very fast. CJ Cool, though, has a big lead at the moment. Uh-oh, is he getting stuck in the Whirly? Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 death. Death by Whirly. Rip all those people. Big, big puppy man destroyer. Okay, some people are out of the Whirly. CJ Cool's still doing pretty well. Human person. We'll make it out of here first. Human person, okay. Oh, oh, it's flung ahead so fast. Ooh, too fast. Flew too close to the sun. Oh. CJ Cool. He's alive. Makes it through the first hole. Min is gonna take his place. Actually gets stuck. Wait, Volk? A sub? Pay to win? A sub gets rewarded? Volk is your winner. Volk, how long have you been a sub for? You may have just made a net profit on a Twitch stream. Now, you guys do know whoever finishes last gets permanently banned, right? Not whoever dies, whoever finishes last. Meaning, right now, Cyclip, it would be in your best interest to not finish the race. Because if you do, you will be banned. If Cyclip finishes the race, he will be banned. Unless Serbia rules somehow takes longer. Whichever of these two gamers takes longer will be banned. Actually, there's only 12 seconds till the... There's only 12 seconds to it ends. Wait, Serbia Rules is going to be okay. He survives just by taking too long, meaning that Cyplith is actually going to be in last place. All right, so... Sorry, Cyplith. See you never. 18 messages. Oh. Today is their first stream. Loop. And they just typed exclamation, like 15 of their 18 messages are just exclamation point boost. And then they pogged. You know what? Fair enough. That could be worse. Um, DM me on Twitch, Volk, with your PayPal link and we'll, we'll get it handled, get you your $10. Congratulations, Twitch chat. We will have a rematch one day because I'm not letting that slide that I just lost in a fish identification uh, competition even though it was to over 100 people with access to google how well